Hello everyone. I'm uh, making this video to let people know that Sage Light 4 is back. I am sorry that I was gone for so long. I uh, put something on the main website in the discussion board. Uh, if you want to know what happened and, and why Sage Light was gone for so long, uh, go ahead and go to sagelighteditor.com slash discussion or just go to sagelighteditor.com and click on discussion and you'll see where I put a lot of notes about uh, what, what had happened and what's happening with Sage Light. Sage Light is now free and I'm um, doing it with a donation base. You can see in the right hand corner it says donate to Sagelight and so um, the idea is to uh, fund version 5 which is about 70 percent complete and I have videos uh, showing that in its uh, kind of a pre-alpha uh, state and so what I want to do is I want to start putting out videos where I do uh, discrete examples, smaller examples. Before a while back I would have put uh, I put these 15, 20 minute videos about how to use this function and that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do a couple, a function at a time. Say I'm going to find an image that I like, <clears throat> excuse me, and go ahead and uh, just change it using whatever function I use and then this uses examples of, of various functions. Like this is a really good example right here where what I want to show off here is the HDR function and I, I've changed it a little bit w with the release. If you download it, if you already own Sage, like just download this, this will be the update. I fixed quite a few bugs and then I've adjusted a few things a lot with the HDR to make the HDR a little more um, interesting and so you can see it already added a little definition to it in the eyes and everything and then what I can do is I can go ahead and you know really get kind of a, a contrast that, that I like here um, like if I wanted more HDR strength which I really don't because it starts to look artificial after a while so I'm going to go ahead and just you know reset to the, that to the original and just go ahead and get um, something that looks kind of decent and you know that that looks fine to me and then for now and then one of the best functions in Sage that always has been the smart contrast. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put, so you can see it's just such a wonderful function. I've always been very pleased with this function. And um, I have a version of it in version 5 of this in the quick edit mode, but this is just always such a nice function. And so then what I can do is I can go ahead and add a, uh, a vignette on it. And um, I always like that kind of the hard mix because it does that. And so it kind of focuses on, and you can move the vignette around, kind of focuses on the on the face a little bit there. And then it never hurts. See, the great thing about 16 bits per channel is that you can just keep doing things over and over and over again, and it really doesn't degrade the image. And so, uh, and Sage Light takes a lot of care to not blow out highlights and, and uh, to kill the black areas. And um, and so I really actually like this one all, all by itself as, as a standalone picture. And, um, and so that's one function. And so let me show another one real quick. So the last one started with uh, the HDR, I wanted to show off the HDR, and let's see what happens when we do the HDR. It's just always good to check out. See, that actually looks pretty nice. You can see that it um, really brought down the highlights, it uh, sharpened up the image there, and then I can I can play with it and, and do what I want. And it actually stole my thunder because I was I was about to do something else, and I'll do it anyway to show you. But, you know, the HDR really is starting to look pretty good, uh, you know, with the little tweaks I've been making to it. So definitely try it out. But like I said, this kind of killed my demonstration, but I'm going to do it anyway uh, because it is pretty powerful. So what I was going to do is I was going to go into the advanced masking and then um, do just the light value. And what I'm looking for is I want the highest light because I want to bring down the highlights without killing the shadows. And so what I can do is I can um, just click on a real bright area and then, and then get the range going and then feather the mask quite a bit and then I can do the range. And then... I can bring up the curves and see it brings down the shadows. Uh, I'm not. I'm sorry. The highlights without really killing the shadows. And and so that was just something that I wanted to show you in terms of the masking. Even though the HDR kind of did my job for me. And then what I can do is I can use the undo brush to you know just get get that beak back a little bit. Um, you know, like I, I actually really like the fact that it brought these down too. It looks more consistent, but I don't like the fact that it did the beak. So I can go ahead and do that, and then I can go ahead and see what uh, you know what it looks like uh, there um, to get um, you know, what I want. And um, yeah, I can go ahead and put put that back. Uh, and version five has a remap version of this function as well. And so that ended up looking pretty good and so that's a good example of how you can use the masking to affect an image because a lot of times when you 
bring down highlights in an area where you have low values and high values, you, you get halos. And this is a real good way to think about doing it without generating halos. I've got some other videos coming up using the power curves and masking to show how to you, you know change these real high contrasty areas without getting the halos. So anyway, those are just a couple examples I wanted to show as I let everybody know that Sage Light 4 is not only back, but it's also free and um, donations. I'm going to let donations fund version 5 and we'll just see where it goes. And so I'm going to uh, start putting this on all the free word boards and everything. And so hopefully the donations will. Uh, I, I like the idea of a free model. I like the idea of giving Sage Light away for free. It's something I've always wanted to do. And it's just hard to do when you have a project that is so big. And now that Sage Light 4 is a few years old and I'm working on Sage Light 5, it makes sense to give it away for free. And hopefully uh, some people will donate what they think it's worth and help out with getting version 5 back. And, and then we'll go from there. Anyway, thanks for watching, and um, I'll be putting out some more videos soon.